Hey guys, Scott here, and uh, today we're talking about whataboutism and how it is uh, pretty rampant in the DVD community. And whataboutism is, is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's when somebody brings up a valid problem and then somebody else brings up another problem and says, well, what about this problem? And just ignores the first problem because they have their own problem. It's a huge uh, issue in politics, but it definitely applies to DVD as well. And I'll give you guys a very clear example that I'm sure you've seen. Somebody will say, well... Keys are overpowered. What about Maury's? And then that's it. The guy that's complaining about Maury's ignores the fact that keys are stupid. And the guy saying keys are stupid is ignoring the fact that Maury's are stupid because they're only focusing on their own personal problems that they run into the most. And this is a, it's a huge, huge problem with this community. Uh, I'm not really sure why that is. I think maybe because it's asymmetrical and because of that, it's almost like two warring political parties that have very different views on the game. And there's not a lot of people that are empathetic to both sides of the argument. Uh, I, I, I think that's why this is the case. But people way too often only think about the problems that they have to go through in, uh, when they're playing the game. And they ignore the other problems. When, when you say, what about this problem? You're basically, you're acknowledging that there is another problem. But you're basically saying their problem is not as important. So let's talk about my problem now. And I think that's just kind of a shitty, selfish way to, to be in the community. And a lot of people do this, like a lot, a lot of people do this. Like even like the, the past couple of videos I made, first one was about survivors finding some killers, boring. And then in the comments, well, you know, uh, survivors have to go through all this stuff. You know, well, what about all the stuff survivors have to go through, blah, blah, blah. And then the next video upload is about a very strong survivor build. And what about all the shit killers have to go through? It's like people just cannot realize that you guys both have to go through shit. Both sides have a lot of bullshit they have to deal with. And I think that is part of a huge problem about why this community is so uh, fiery in terms of arguing with each other. I actually thought a lot about this, and it actually started making a lot of sense. So Dead by Daylight is, I'm going to say balanced in quotation marks. It's very loosely balanced around the fact that both sides have very broken shit that they can do. When in reality, it should be balanced around the fact that neither side has broken shit that they can do. The thing is... When you have it balanced as it is right now, you have a scenario where there are way too low lows and way too high highs. You ideally want, you know, like the difference between the worst match and the best match to be like this. Where this match, eh, it's a little unbalanced. This match, eh, it's a little unbalanced. This match is perfect. But right now we have a clown. You can't even see it. It's on the ground. We have a clown with no add-ons against the four-man survive with friends with four DS, four unbreakables. And then we have an Ebony Mori nurse you know, with going against rank 20 solo queue megs. And that could just be one game after another. And because there's this giant distance, this giant gap between each games, you basically create a situation in which every time someone makes a complaint about the game, in their own way, they're kind of correct. Because everyone has their own problems because the the nature of it being so minimal and so maximal like those lows being so low and the highs being so high makes it so everybody is running into bullshit that they have you know worthy complaints for at some point and i think that is a direction the game needs to steer away from so when somebody says um you know keys are overpowered and then someone responds well, what about maury's why why can't they just say hey you know what they're actually both fucking stupid maybe we shouldn't have n neither of those things in their current form um, you know, like a, a more nerfed form of a Mori, like you, may, you have to hook everybody once before you can Mori. Uh, keys, give them an opening animation so they can't immediately jump in in front of a killer's face and the killer can't do anything about it. Shit like that. Make it so the, the extremes are not extreme anymore and suddenly you have less complaints about the game. You know, buff the weaker killers so they're more in line with the stronger killers so everything gets closer together. When everyone's having the same experiences, there's less arguing because they're all in... They're all sympathizing with the same experiences that people have. Most of the arguments that people have in this game are from situations where they can't relate to it because, you know, like, so, like a, a killer will say, man, Survivor's overpowered. But then the Survivor will go, well, I play solo queue. My teammates are fucking idiots and they die in two seconds and they're not overpowered. And technically, they're actually both right because that killer might have just played a match where he goes against, you know, like the, the foreman with like ridiculous perk setups and add-ons and med kits and shit like that and then the survivor might have gone against you know a really good nurse where his teammates were all like rank 20s and stuff like that 
these are both things that absolutely could have happened back to back. So technically, both complaints that these people have are completely valid because they both probably actually happened. So when you diminish another side's complaints because it didn't happen to you, I think that kind of just makes you a shitty person. I, I, I'm not going to say shitty person. It's a video game. We're talking about opinions on a video game. I think it makes your views on the game kind of shitty. And I think we need to move away from that. We need way more empathy for, you know, the opposing side. And people that play both sides usually have a bit more of that. That's why I get so frustrated when I, when I make a video about one side and I get comments bitching about one side. And then I make a video about the other side and I only get comments bitching about the other side. Where are the people that are acknowledging that I'm, I'm talking about both sides, man? Like, both sides have huge, huge problems that they have to deal with, so... I know we as a community can't exactly make the changes to the add-ons themselves, and that's something that's just that's up to the devs. I think I, I think Mori's need a nerf. I think he's need a nerf. Just an example. There are a lot of things that are like that. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, instead of nerfing Survivor Friends, we should buff solo queue and then buff the killers accordingly. So all all of this process is to make the game go from this to this. This is the whole goal. I think that will stop, not stop, but it'll heavily reduce the amount of debating going on because I dropped my headphones. Think about it. If everyone is having the same experiences, there's a, a sense of unity and like bonding between the community then. And because of that, there will be less friction, less tension, less arguing. But when you have somebody that can validly complain about the bottom and someone that can validly complain about the top and people not acknowledging that both of those are valid complaints, then you just get a bunch of tension and arguing because this side, they, they, they just can't see the other side. So while we are powerless to actually change the game, uh, I think as a community, we can definitely do a better job of acknowledging the problems that the other sides have. And I think we should steer away from this whole, well, what about this problem? You need to acknowledge that the problem that this person's talking about, given that they're not just bitching about nothing, uh, it, it probably has some merit because it's probably something that they've actually gone against recently. And even though you might not be able to see it as a valid problem, uh, that's just because this game has way too many extremes. And uh, when you encounter those extremes, it makes the game seem very, very broken. So I think those complaints are to an extent valid and you shouldn't uh, just dismiss them and say, well, what about this problem? Because, you know, a lot of the complaints that people are making from both sides are valid. So bottom line, uh, we can't do anything about the game itself, but as a community, we can be better about empathizing with the other side and understanding there are problems with both sides. So don't say, what about this problem? Say, yeah, that is bullshit. And then transfer into your own problem. Don't diminish their problem. Acknowledge it. Say, yeah, keys are dumb. On the flip side, Maurice are also kind of dumb too. As soon as you do that, as soon as like, this is like a, a basis, like a, a basic thing about winning arguments with people, uh, you have to show them that you understand their side. That is one of the most important things you can do when you're debating or arguing with someone. Don't be a stone wall. Just admit that you can see the side that they're talking about. As soon as you do that, the tension in the debate, it just fucking evaporates. It's like gone. As soon as you, like someone says, keys are overpowered and someone says, what about Maury's? Say, yeah, Maury's are overpowered too. And they should be looked at, but keys are also kind of broken. You change the, the dynamic so much that if the other person still bitches at you and argues, then they're just a fucking idiot. They're just in, like, they're just unreasonable at that point. And who cares what they think? But I think most people in that scenario would go, okay, well, at least they understand my side. Now we can talk about your side too. So that's basically it. I just wanted to talk about this because this shit has been in the community since day one. And there is something we can do about it as a community. It's not just up to the devs to fix the broken things and make the game go from this to this. It is uh, a lot on the community as well to acknowledge the other sides. And uh, I think that is about it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, spread the word of uh, not being dicks to the other side.